We're going to move on to the head and the crest, the neckline, all right? So we always try and leave a wee bit of a crest here, especially in these type of wee breeds and whatever, because it's very cute. Um, you don't have to, you can take it all the one length if you want, but this is what I like to do, all right? So now I'm going to move on and I'm going to use, he's going louder. I'm going to use this pink, which is the 32 millimeter. I'm going to use that on the crest and on the, on the head, right? You can also use it on the tail as well. Now just reverse clip it up through the dog's coat, right up and over the head. It's just removing bulk of the hair for you before you finish it. You do the whole head, beard, everything. And I know some people are going to be out there and they're going to be watching this and they're going to be going, I do that quicker with a pair of scissors. Yes, maybe you might, but not everybody will. So what I'm saying is use your tool to your advantage. And especially these new separate comb attachments and things, they are unbelievable. Clap everything. Now I'm going to use a curved scissor. And it's a wee curved chunker if I can find it on here. These are the designers of, and they're just a slight curve chunker. A wee small curve, which is great for anything to round it off. Stand up, please. We're going to start at the side of the neck. Let's just go in. Hey. I mean, normally you would do this, and anybody out there that's been grooming a long time, just get a pair of shoes out and finish that off in seconds. But this is all aimed for the people out there that are just Find the tough to break those lines and take away those the, the, those the definitions between the shorter hair and the longer hair. These these pair of scissors are fantastic. Then turn them around because they're ambidextrous. Anything with two pins at the bottom are ambidextrous, which means you can use them in both hands. You can use them back to front, whatever way you want to do it. So just turn it around to take away the line at the side of here, down and across the others. Okay, from the short hair into the long hair. A lot of people still leave those lines. And us is all geared at new groomers as well because they, they're, they're just not 100% of how to do it, right? And they should be showing up this groom school, but not, they don't always remember. Turn your scissor back to front, keep it at an angle, take the line out, and just use them like a normal scissor. Good boy. Then turn them around the right way. And if he wants to stand that way, we have to go this way. And curve it in the ways to get rid of the line. And that's how it's done. So use your tools to your advantage. This is what I keep saying all the way through this demo. Always, always, always use your tools to your advantage. That's what they're there for, that's what they're designed for, use them. Now, this part here, if I says, how do you get that? There's always a line at the bottom of the neck, here. All right, just above the others. Turn your scissors back to front, and go straight across, and that'll take that out. See, straight across. Now, and another wee tip for you, this part here. A lot of people can't get this, right? They can't get the definition to round off very, very easily. Do it with Bichons, I do it with Kerry Blues on their, on their crest, I do it with Poodles, I do it with everything. So easy. Grab your head, push it straight up if he lets me. Straight up in there, pull it all out. Put straight across. Very, very easy. Now, not everybody can do it. Not everybody says, oh God, I've caught a big hole. Yes, because you're using the wrong size of scissor, you're using a curved scissor, or whatever, use a straight scissor. Push it up, I'll do it from this side, and cut straight across. And this goes for Bichons as well, with big massive heads. Comb all the hair out from the top, from the, the stop, right out to the back of the neck. Push the head up, cut straight up. 
put the head down, you've got the perfect top of the head. It's very simple. And I also do it with poodles and things. And even on the Kerry Blue neck, just push it up again. I know the top of the head of the Kerry Blue is shaved, but you're going to see this big bump of hair here. Push it up, cut straight up, line with the top of the head, put it down and it sits perfect. Moving on to the muzzle. Now he has a really short kind of a muzzle. That's just the way we like it because you just know yourselves. In the, in the every day, when, when somebody comes into your salon, what's the first thing they say? Cut that beard shorter. Because he's, he's dropping water all over my good tiles every time he takes a drink. Yes, of course, he's got hair. It's going to get wet. It's going to drop. So just cut it up nice and short. And I'm going to use a pair of curved scissors for this, right? And these are the designer dog. And they're seven and a half inch curved or eight inch. I just can't remember, but they're one designer dog ones, right? I'm just going to tidy them around here now. Push the ear out of your road. Tilt your head to the side. Because if you tilt the head up like this here, he'll flick that ear over every time you do it. So tilt it to the side so the ear will stay there. And do you on here, just up below the ear, around the ear. And I see a lot of people coming and learning different techniques and things with me. And then here, at the ear, where the ear opens, where the ear canal goes in. You're leaving a lot of hair there and big square jaws. Take it away. Don't believe in it. There's no need for it because what happens is you scratch and scratch and scratch, and then here it gets matted solid. Nine times out of ten, I just shave all this area out and just keep it up below the eye and to the front of the mouth. But I'll just scissor it here now when I'm here. Good boy. Jawline. So if you pull all the hair out here, where they suck it in, because wrap wraps around their teeth, turn your scissor back to the front if you're very confident with scissors. Do not do this at home, please, because it's not easy to do, turn your scissors back to front, cut along that lip line, turn your scissors round again and just follow that lip line round to just below the ear. A nice smiley face, nice rounded face. Stop shaking. Just like that. Then because it's a nice thick woolly coat, you can do this with blenders as well. But I'm going to use these nice designer dog curved chunker, they're a wee small chunker as I say, ambidextrous, and then just glide over that and blend it. Right, moving on to the front. Now, keep an eye on this again. Pull that hair out from the lip. Don't let that dog lick whatever you do. Put your thumb over the, do over the bridge of the nose, not the soft part of the nose. The back butt here and the, the bone part, the really strong butt. Pull this hair out here, reverse your scissors and cut across that lip. You don't want that hair going under the dog's mouth because what happens is if you leave that hair and it goes in, it tangles around the teeth, it loosens the front teeth and it's not very good because what happens in a couple of years down the line, the dog's teeth are rotting and they're falling out of its head. So cut it away and keep it nice. Nice wee lip line. He's well used to it, but not every dog's used to it, so be very careful. Keep that mouth shut, because what'll happen is you'll just, the tongue comes out, and you all know what happens when the tongue gets cut. Never stops bleeding, it's a nightmare. Now, follow that line round. I take this from behind this time. Take all that hair underneath off. Sorry, go, go. And as I say, flick this ear back, Turn your head sideways and take all that hair out down there. Good boy. Stand face on, see where you're at. I'll turn his head slightly sideways so you can see and follow the lip line round just and below the ear canal. Good boy. 
No. Between the A's. Clear between the A's, just under the stop, straight across, between the two A's and tidy. Now what's the, what's the biggest thing when they come in the door? When a customer comes in the door, what is the biggest thing that happens? What do they say to you? Take loads off his face, I can't see his eyes. So this is what we're going to do. Open up those eyes. Get your chunkers out, your recurve chunkers and tidy underneath. Now, nine times out of ten, a lot of people love their, their, their dogs, these big massive ears, big long flowing ears, I don't like it on a boy dog, I don't, I don't mind it in the girl dog, I don't like it in the boy dog, and what happens is if the ears are too heavy and too long, it causes the ears to sweat in the canal and things like that, and it causes havoc in the dog's ears, so I just shave them off. Far nicer, and it's dead cute on the wee boy dogs as well. It's cute in any dog, but the boy dogs look really well with it. Good boy. And that's basically it. You just have to do the tail. And I'm going to get a number five, four blades, sorry. I'm going to shave the outside of these ears. Now there's, at the top of the ear, you'll feel a bulb, a bubble. That's called the ear bulb. Cut from there down. And always flatten out the ear. You don't want the ear. Never go towards it because you can catch the ear leather. And when you do that, then you all know what happens. It bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. Follow the nerve endings and it doesn't stop bleeding, then you'll be freaking out. It takes forever to get it stopped. Take your finger and thumb. Using a pair of straight scissors. Use your finger and thumb as your guide. Cut around the edges out of here. Just thin it all off. Same on the other side. 